So let's talk about fentanyl really quick. Fentanyl is a common medication used in hospitals uh, and in surgery centers and ICUs for pain management. It can also be used in conjunction with medications like Versed or with propofol for sedation. Uh, but let's talk about what it is. So it's a supplement uh, to general anesthesia, and it can be given continuous IV infusion for purpose of analgesia. And then when you combine it with these medications like Versed or with propofol, it can be used for sedation. So a lot of times in an ICU setting, you'll see uh, Versed and fentanyl drip. Uh, and, and, you know, your max with fentanyl is about 200 micrograms. And with uh, your Versed, you know, it's about 10. So you really got to be careful that you're titrating the correct one uh, when you're when you're messing with these medications, and when you mess with the pump. So make sure you have your lines um, ID'd and labeled really, really clearly with what's going through what IV. So the action is that it binds to opiate receptors in the CNS and alters our perception of pain. And by doing this, it produces a general CNS depression. So by just providing this general depression of our central nervous system, it is able to alter our perception of pain. So therapeutic class is opioid analgesic. Pharmacologic class is opioid agonist. Some things that we want to keep in mind as a nurse, and, and we talk about this with all of our CNS depressants, but we really want to watch for apnea, decreased respirations, bradycardia, hypotension. So we're really looking at our respirations. We're looking at our cardiovascular system. We're making sure uh, that we're not depressing the system too much. So, for example, if you do have a patient on Versed fentanyl, the patient will will hopefully be ventilated. Uh, so they're getting that respiratory support. Um, and they may be on other vasoactive drips to kind of make, keep their cardiovascular system up. So, But if they're not, you know, if we're giving any of these CNS depressants, um, especially fentanyl, you know, we want to make sure that we're monitoring their EKG, we're monitoring their respirations, and we're making sure that... Uh, that they're that they're safe okay with a lot of medications too you don't want to consume grapefruit juice while taking fentanyl you want to monitor our hemodynamics very very closely and assess our patient's pain uh, if we are do have the patient sedated we'll want to use other methods to assess pain like flak you know what's their what's their respir respir what's their respiratory way what's their facial expression uh, and these types of things to try to determine is the patient having pain even if they're nonverbal or even if they're sedated so we can still assess pain and we still should assess pain, especially if we're giving these uh, types of medications. If we don't want to just pump our drip up and sedate the patient where they're doing nothing, um, we want to make sure they're, that they're still going to be responsive uh, if they are. Okay. So that's really fentanyl. That's really the purpose of it. That's why we're giving it. The times that I've seen it the most are in conjunction with uh, other drips uh, to help sedate patients. Um, and to help manage pain after like a massive trauma, after car accident, after head trauma or whatever it is, that this would be the times that I've generally seen it the most. But this is a uh, fentanyl trade name sublimase. This has been another episode of the med master podcast by NRSNG.com. To get our free cheat sheet covering the 50 most commonly prescribed medications, head over to NRSNG.com slash 50 meds. That's NRSNG.com slash 50 meds. Thank you so much for joining me today, and thank you for being part of the NRSNG family. We're here to help you succeed in nursing school and in life. So start your journey today over at nrsng.com slash 50 meds. We're glad to have you aboard. You know what time it is now. It's time to go out and be your best self today. Happy nursing, y'all.